Pisces, welcome to your mid-August, uh, end of August, Will Your Ex Return love readings. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate all the comments. I really, really appreciate it. And also, um, thank you for the personal readings. Uh, if it does not resonate with you, um, you can always get a personal reading with me at jenniferwalkerzen.com or look at the comment box below. All right, let's get started. All right, so this spread's going to be different this month. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please comment. Let me know. I'll continue to do it this way. So this is you. This is your ex. This is your advice about the reconciliation, like what you can do to have a reconciliation. This is the outcome if it will happen. So this time period is from mid-August till the end of August. This is what is surrounding the breakup of the relationship. This is what's happening currently in general in your love life for you and then for your ex. This is how you feel about each other, you ex. This is how you feel about the reconciliation, you and ex. And of course, this is the outcome. All right, so let's go for it. So you got the Page of Cups for the breakup past uh, with your ex. And this card speaks of an immature offer of love. Uh, it could have been you. It could have been you um, giving them an offer or it could have been the other person getting an offer of something. Uh, there was definitely communication of that. The reason why I say immature is because it was the Page of Cups. They do say messages, but in this case, we're looking at why your ex and you broke up. So maybe there was some immaturity surrounding uh, the love of the situation. Uh, I don't, I'm not saying it's you, but I'm just saying it could be you or your ex. And the only reason, other reason I say this is because then we have the sun card over here. The sun card does speak of immaturity. Or it could speak of something involving children. So maybe what happened was, was either some kind of pregnancy was involved, which was the reason why the breakup happened. Or, um... There were some immaturity issues, potentially on your ex's part, because I see that the child's on this part, on this side. Or maybe your ex wasn't happy with the situation or the offer of a love for me. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense, but if, if you want to clarify that, uh, please comment below and, and kind of tell me what, what the situation is surrounding this. But that's what it looks like to me. Okay. It looks like I feel like immaturity going on here or someone not being happy or something involving children of the reason why the breakup happened. I, I can clarify it just to get a little bit more information. Okay, so what's going on currently? Currently, there could potentially be for you a solid offer, right? We're talking about mid-August into the end of August, so it may not have happened yet. It's slow moving, right? But there is something solid here potentially for you. from an earth sign. And then on your ex's uh, part is the two of coins. I really am feeling that either it's something involving children or immaturity on their part because the reason why I say that is because I'm looking at here, they have some kind of out of balance thing going on. Maybe their finances, you know, children can cause out of balances with the finances or just maturity in general. They're not balanced within themselves maturely. You know, they're they're not where they need to be mentally, and so they're kind of out of balance. And I apologize for any offensive thing I may be saying about this, but it's just what's coming out to me, okay? But of course, I'll clarify. All right, so this is how you feel about your ex, okay? You felt like you had to defend yourself a lot in this relationship that maybe there was a lot of people coming at you, you know? I feel like there's a lot of wands coming at this person, a lot of people coming at this person. And you felt like you had to defend yourself a lot uh, surrounding this relationship. Maybe your friends didn't agree with it. Maybe his friends didn't agree with it, or maybe vice versa, female, male. Take it how it comes. Okay? This is how he felt about you. 
yeah, we're coming back to maturity again because they saw you as the magician. Someone who is controlling the situation, maybe manipulating things to get their way. Uh, obviously, you see there's a balance here with this person. So this person's put together. You know, they, they have all the tools they need. They know what they want. They know what they're about. Okay? And, you know... Uh, this person to me is coming off a bit immature. There's some kind of immaturity to it. Okay, uh, just that's just what I'm picking up, the energy I'm picking up. Okay, so how do you feel about a reconciliation? Hmm. Hmm. You got the tower here and you got the two of wands. I don't think you feel too good about it, but you're looking at your options, and if it's put in front of you, you may take it. Um, you feel like it would kind of shake up your life a bit, but you're kind of drawn towards it because you see how this person's moving towards the future. They're not moving towards the past. They they see. Something solid, you see that they have this solid mass in their hand. They're looking towards the future. Even though they know that in the past, this person kind of shook up their situation, they still feel like they could go forward towards their ex. Okay. How does your ex feel about a reconciliation? Hmm. I think that he... Uh, does love you and there was some maturing that happened over the period of time of your breakup and he feels more serious about it he feels there's a lot of passion here um, a lot of creativity in this that he feels like he can be or she can be uh, the center of your universe and that they definitely feel like a very more a lot more serious about it this time. Okay, so what's your advice? Well, your advice is either to turn your back on the situation or wait for your ships to come in. I would say since what I asked for when I did the shuffle was what would be your advice if you wanted to have a reconciliation? It looks to me like the ball would be in their court to contact you and it, it looks like they potentially will because you're just waiting for your ships to come in. So if even though you feel like, you know, in the past there was a shake up or this may, you know, disturb your life a bit, you would make the choice to go forward with it. Okay. So let's put some clarifiers on this. I'm kind of curious about this card here, so Let's find out about this Page of Cups. Okay. Right away it came out. All right. So for sure, someone in this relationship, whether it be you or your ex, <clears throat> I think it was you offering love to them and they weren't really interested at the time. They weren't really trying to, they weren't trying, trying to hear it. Uh, I also... We'll make note to the fact that there's a fish in this card, and this is, of course, Pisces. Pisces being your sign. But I think that it was because they have immaturity issues, but let's see. All right. What's this sun card about? Okay. Okay, so the sun card being a fire sign. Hmm. Well, it could also represent that maybe they also, the reason why they didn't accept your offer or they weren't really interested is because they had other options. <clears throat> Let me get another card on this. More, a little bit, something passionate they were interested in. Okay. And then that's a defensive thing. Maybe they felt that they were looking at other options because 
maybe they felt like they also had to defend themselves from you. Uh, maybe that's why they see you as the magician. Hmm. Maybe it was on both sides, but emotionally, your ex was not available to you because they were kind of looking at other options. And they, I gather they just picked one. <clears throat> and they kind of looked forward. I'm going to get one more card on that sun card. Hmm. They may have had a reconciliation themselves. I also have this ace of swords of a mental clarity. Okay, so maybe they got with another person because it was surrounding children. Uh, and because also the six of cups card can mean children as well. <clears throat> maybe there was a mental clarity on their part. And maybe they, they wanted to take responsibility for that situation. And, and so that's why they really couldn't take your offer. Okay. So why do we have the two coins in the present moment for your ex? What's going on? Hmm. Well, it definitely involves love. And I got the unbalanced thing again. And this. So... Okay, so it's saying, so something involving love is out of balance, some kind of lies or deception, <clears throat> and then wanting to walk away from it. Okay. So why does the ex feel that you're the magician? Hmm. There was a choice to walk away, okay? And the five of coins represents being left out in the cold. Maybe they felt like their decision, or maybe they thought that you would decide to leave them out in the cold anyway, so they just decided to walk away. They made the decision to walk away. <clears throat> Okay, why do we have the King of Wands here? Oops. Okay, opportunity. It's a solid opportunity. And then I got the King also. So, so they are they are feeling this solid opportunity towards you. Um, two cards came out for this one, so I really don't need to clarify that. Uh, let's find out why the Three of Wands is there. Why is the Three of Wands here for Pisces? Okay, so taking a leap of faith, and then the other card that came out was balance again, and patience. So stay balanced, take a leap of faith, and be patient. <clears throat> so let's check out the outcome. We do have an ace. This is a potential. Now, I'm not saying a potential means that there's a potential action towards a reconciliation, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen uh, in this time period. So let's put some more clarification on this Ace of Wands. Okay, you're resting, they're resting. What else do I need to know about this Ace of Wands? Okay, okay, what else? Use your intuition. Okay. So I think what happens is your, your ex is going to give you an offer. <clears throat> That's why your advice is just to wait patiently. So just make sure you think about this and you examine your options and you use your intuition in, in this choice. So let's get some oracle cards in this. So I'm going to use Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. 
Pisces, someone arising. Give me some more clarity on this reconciliation. What's going to happen with this? What does Pisces, someone arising, need to know about this reconciliation? Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so potentially it's saying separation very soon. So I'm thinking maybe because of this knight of coins here, maybe you are dating an earth sign. I'm going to have to clarify that. But it's saying separation very soon. Or your ex has two choices because those that's the number two. And the, your ex decided to take a separation from that person. And it's going to happen very soon. Um, let's get one more card. What does separation mean? What do you mean by that? Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, it says unrequited love. So apparently there's not enough love in that relationship to keep it going. This is, this is it taking an unexpected turn that I was not expecting. So either you or your ex is dealing with someone and there's going to be a separation very soon because there's not enough love to make it work. Uh, let me get another card on this. Uh, this is Angel Answers, again by Doing Virtue. Uh, let me get a little bit more understanding of what's going on here. Thank you. This card just keeps popping out. Opportunity. So there's an opportunity because there's a separation. Okay, so it's definitely saying you have an opportunity. Because of this separation that's happening with your ex or with you, I'm not sure which one, but uh, there's an opportunity to have a reconciliation very soon. Uh, and then again, at the bottom of the deck, it says, listen to your intuition. And then obviously it wants to do that. So let's just see what that says. The situation will improve. So obviously in the past there were some issues here with the emotions of someone in this relationship whether that be you or your ex but I feel like it's your ex not accepting your offer because maybe immaturity issues or maybe something surrounding another relationship with children uh, there was a decision that which makes more sense now to walk away maybe because of the fact that obviously if it said it was not enough love there uh, the lovers make sense because of the fact that maybe there were some secrets revealed to that person and then they decided to walk away because of the separation they came back around to you and they brought you a uh, you know an option to uh, continue this with them Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. Um, so this, this is probably going to take place around probably more towards the end of August. Uh, you'll probably hear something. Or maybe mid, maybe mid the end, or maybe a little bit into September. You know, it's hard to say. Um, but um, if it does not resonate with you, please um, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, and get a personal reading. Thank you guys so much for listening. I love you guys.